ൃതിസ്മൃതിപുരാണാനാം ആലയം കരുണാലയം നമാമി ഭഗവത്പാദശങ്കരം ലോകശങ്കരം ആരൂഢ പ്രൗഢവേഗ പ്രവിചിതവനം തുങ്കതുങ്കം തുരംഗം ചേലം നീലം വസാന കരതലവിലസൽക്കാണ്ടകോദണ്ട ദണ്ട രാഗദ്വേഷാദി നാനാവിധ മൃഗപടലീ ഭീതികൃത് ഭൂതഭർത്ത കുറുവന്നാഖേടലീലാം പരിലസതുമനക്കാനേ മാമകീനേ ഏജ് കനോട്ട് വിതർ നോർ കസ്റ്റം സ്റ്റെയിൽ ദ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് വെറൈറ്റി ഓഫ് ദി ജീനിയസ് കോൾഡ് ശങ്കര ശങ്കര ഈസ് ദ എപ്പിറ്റോം ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ even after more than a thousand years the manifold effects of his gigantic impact in the form of commentaries in the form of prakarana granthas and the sweet devotional hymns are still palpable everywhere he lived for only 32 years but he continues scoring centuries in the world of thought life and light for sangara's life is the shining example of indian philosophy and spirituality lived and applied to daily life he is an example of religion in action what is the crux of shankara advaita this entire universe this entire universe consists of two categories kshetra and kshetratnya the inanimate and animate kshetratnya is jiva all his activities have the single purpose of getting happiness and avoiding grief he does, does not always succeed on the other hand he gets inescapably enmeshed in the web created by him enmeshed in the web created by him shastra says that his basic error is that he considers himself to the body and uh, searches for happiness outside even though in fact he is actually bliss himself that he does not know this is his avidya and mistaking the body for himself is his adhyasa he asked how i am not the body the deep sleep in the deep sleep that is sushupti you have no connection with the uh, body etc and you enjoy your own natural bliss so you forget the body and you get the bliss from yourself it is uh, if it is natural then the question comes why do i miss it while awake it is because you commit the mistake of considering yourself as the body why do i commit this mistake this is another again a question it is because you do not know who you are and when you are totally free from your body etc then who am i then the answer is you are brahman what is brahman it is the material cause of this whole universe including your body how do i understand that i am brahman brahman is satyam unchanging gnanam that stuff which takes the form of various knowledge and uh, anandam unlimited in every sense of the word the universe is asatyam changing jadam that is inert and sandam that is limited unlike brahman though it is not self benefit of brahman the very nature of brahman is 
അനന്തം സത്യം ജ്ഞാനം അനന്തം നിത്യമനാകാശം ശങ്കരാസ് പോയം യു മീൻ ടു സേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആം ദിസ് ബ്രഹ്മൻ യെസ് ദൻ ഹൗ യു ആർ യു എസ് എൽ സത്യം ജ്ഞാനം ആൻഡ് അനന്തം ഇൻ ഡീപ് സ്ലീപ് ദൻ വൈ ഡു ഐ മിസ് ദിസ് ബ്ലിസ് വൈ ലെ വൈക്ക് ബിക്കോസ് യു റോങ്ലി തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ദ ബോഡി do you mean to say that i will never miss it if i avoid this mistake exactly this is called self realization how do, how does it uh, come about to begin with one should give up asuri gunas and cultivate daivi gunas ambit of dharma that is ethics that how the vedanta and the ethics they have the, the they, they have the interconnection later on he should give up worldly desire and do only nishkama karma with a purified mind then through shastra shravana manana and nididhyasana ultimately one leads to self realization it is clear that dharma or ethics is the first and foremost foundation foundation stone of the final goal of life that is self realization shankara's definition of god makes it clear that according to him god is not an entity uh, numerically different from the absolute but is the traditions of thousands of years in india ethical problems have been approached in relation to all the fundamental issues of life and society and so they are mixed up with a metaphysical social and axiological problems ethics in india is depend upon a view of life that is darshana born of tradition reflection and insight it is based on values in our external condition everything around us is really uh, is real at the same time the external world around us changes from time to time and ultimately at one time it ceases it does not mean that the world is unreal but its appearance of multiplicity changes and vanishes after some time hence the crux of the advaita vedanta is that the world appears uh, up, the world appearance is false illusion and momentary but not the actual world which is the effect of brahman shankara's attempt is not to prove the unreality of the world but to enlighten the meaning of the upanishad pas- upanishadic passages which gives the final emancipation there is much debate on adhyasa and uh, avidya in shankara's commentaries but not on illusion or maya the historians of indian philosophy have allotted more pages to discuss the concept of concept and nature of maya but they bestowed their attention very little to examine critically the difference between maya adhyasa and avidya this is this is one of the great uh, um, um, what do we call uh, problem with the um, uh, vedanta literature uh, the well known indian philosophers uh, have um, as i said you, as, as i said er, uh, earlier that uh, uh, they they have not discussed in detail or thoroughly uh, or we cannot uh, come across uh a uh, 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 length the literature uh, connected with the, the on discussion on maya adhyasa and avidya it is quite uh, unfortunate that the system of shankara vedanta has been discussed keeping in view the doctrine of maya and the status of the empirical world based on this they derived the explanations and conclusions of pessimistic nature 
and viewed the many sides and aspects of life and thought. Strictly speaking, it is one side of the subject matter of Advaita Vedanta, rather it is only one of the uh, cornerstones of the entire system. It is to, to be stated that it is only a view that developed based on taking some words, some sentences and some examples, avoiding and forgetting the major chunk of literature on Advaita Vedanta that advocated on optimistic view of life, an ethical code of conduct, and a full realization of human personality. Apart from his uh, metaphysical, uh, uh, sorry, metaphorical view of life, Shankara has also uh, subscribed to sociological outlook with a reference to social order and moral behavior. The approach to the spiritual state of external existence is through intellect. Hence, the moral life, which is the only means of the intellectual development of the individual, cannot be and should not be forsaken altogether. Shankara says that performance of all acts is depending upon right conduct. A, a man cannot entitle to the performance of such acts. Right conduct is an end in itself to attain uh, by man and as such has no direct bearing upon actions. Its influence has felt at the time of appearance of the results of those actions. So its influence has felt at the time of appearance of the results of those actions. So Shankara, Shankara does not uh, consider morality to self-contained only. He says that right conduct has both the absolute as well as the relative value. Uh, the acceptance of the duties meant for different stages of life proves Shankara's emphasis on the adoption of ethical life as the necessary means for the attainment of liberation on the part of the individual. So uh, the ethical principles which are the outcome of intellect are not only conducive to the world, world, worldly prosperity, but also the right, the, the right means of the attainment of true knowledge ending uh, in liberation, in the final emancipation. Man's intellect, which is at the root of his uh, material and social progress, is a wonderful instrument at his uh, disposal. Only through this one can follow the ideal Nishkama Karma without any longing for its result. This attempt from each individual in the society brings equilibrium of mind and peace and harmony in the society. Shankara accepts action in his philosophy as a powerful means for the attainment of supreme knowledge. In Viveka Chudamani, Shankara Acharya says that Karmana Jayade Bhakrihi, Bhakriya Jnanam Prajayade, Jnanat Sanjayade Moksha, Idi Vedartan Shaya. So with this, uh, a few observations. I beg to remain.